madam president the rapporteur states in his report that the accession to the echr will afford citizens protection against the actions of the union. i would be far more interested in protecting the residents of my constituency the west midlands in the uk against the action of the convention on human rights. of course in the uk we incorporated this into our law in one thousand nine hundred and ninety eight allowing the echr to have effect in all our courts. in the manifesto of the new conservative government it was promised that they would repeal the human rights act but as they should have known that the lisbon made the eu a legal entity and the eu have greater powers than the electorate of the united kingdom. as george orwell reminded of george orwell the writing is on the wall and as we know some people have more, are more equal than others when it comes to human rights. earlier this month my constituents in meriden and hatton suffered invasions by so called travellers who have broken the peace and who are building unauthorised and possibly illegal developments on what little remains of our precious greenbelt land. thanks to the convention of human rights these travellers have special protection, protected rights. they have priority in health care and education all at the expense of local taxpayers. the rapporteur wants us to involve our national courts and ministries of justice in this process. I say that the Convention of Human Rights have done enough damage already. Perhaps the rapporteur would like to visit my constituency and witness at first hand the desecration of our land. Perhaps he would like to speak to the hard working villagers who have seen the value of their homes plummet. He could inspect the lines of police drafted in to keep the peace and of course preserve the special rights of the travellers. He could even enjoy the spectacle of 90 lorries laden with gravel churning up the country lanes with, and where parents walk with their children. He might help residents as they rush to install security equipment in anticipation of the surge in criminal activity that often accompanies such developments. Of course, these are but small tragedies and are nothing when compared to the important political project that is the European Union. But let us consider when we postpone special rights on one group of citizens, we automatically degrade the rights of others. The Convention of Human Rights has degraded the rights of my constituents. It should not be up to be unelected officials who to decide who is special and who is not. We have a newly elected government in the UK who have made promises in this area. In the name of democracy, let, those, let them carry out those promises out. Thank you.